Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Sky Bobby and you're watching Sky Bobby TV. Well, the news is out that we have two, not one, but two vaccines on the way and it could not have come at a perfect time. be able to travel again life is getting back to normal but it won't be overnight and I think travel will never be the same in this video I'll be talking about how travel will change in 2021 I think one of the big reasons travel will never be the same is the comfort level of traveling now if you guys can remember back in 9-11 post time that people were afraid to get back on the plane because they weren't sure if there was more terror out there where people was it going to be the norm to uh, hijack planes and not land and run into buildings. People was like, you know, I'm just gonna wait a while and make sure everything is okay. And I think with this pandemic going on, it's 10 times worse than 9-11 when it comes to the tour and travelism. The airlines were hit very hard as well as the hotel business and the high major destination sites that really depend on travel. I think that's the part that's gonna change the most how we are accepted in other people's countries. Millions of people has lost their job in the tour and travel business, so staffing, customer service, that's all going to change, I think. One of the fundamental things about traveling for me is the leisure and the freedom travel gives you, that you can travel anywhere, especially as an American. You get an American passport, and it was the darling of the passports. If you had a U.S. passport, you can go anywhere in the world. You might need a few visas in a couple of countries, but pretty much you can get to any country. <laughs> Now, nobody wants that U.S. passport. We can't even get into the countries. I think things will get better because I think the airlines will be requiring you to take a COVID test and probably show proof that you are vaccinated. And then once you arrive into the country, you're going to have to show that to the, the officials and customs in that country. And probably even if you check into the hotel, it's going to be probably a three, four part series. Just haggleness of travel and maybe some incentives for the frequent flyers who could be in a program and they offer free COVID testing, maybe they offer free vaccines in their um, clubs, <laughs> wishful thinking. It just won't feel the same. The beauty of traveling was just the fundamental right of just getting up and go, especially if you're in the travel business like myself. If you don't know me by now, I am a flight attendant for a major airlines and I fly for free and I make sure that I fly. I'm, I'm also kind of nervous that will the vaccine work? Will areas that people um, travel to that are high yield destinations like Hawaii, will that ever be the same? I mean, I can look at it in a good way that it won't be as many people traveling and you'll be able to travel more at ease. Flights won't be as full. Um, but then again, the airlines might start cutting flights to make it seem like um, the flights are full because there's just less frequency to that destination. I think a lot of big corporations won't be sending out their executives to uh, conferences and um, conventions. They'll be doing more than Zoom. I think we've had eight months of learning how to Zoom and it's just not worth the money to send their executive anywhere. They could just, you know, have a conference over the uh, internet now. So I think how are the airlines going to make money when some of their best customers are the business travelers? Those are the money that you can consistently depend on. Leisure travel is more the airline's extra change that, you know, that fulfills the leftover seats that the business people did not take. Even security would be different. I remember after 9-11, the uh, government, FAA, took over security issues. So I think the government's gonna be more involved when we travel, making sure that everybody is vaccinated and that we actually are taking the um, mask serious. I think the mask will be around, yes, people. The mask will be around for another year or so because we gotta get everybody vaccinated and it's still close quarters in the airplane, so I'm pretty sure the airlines are gonna be requiring the mask for at least another year, which I know, I know, I hate it too, I know, but to get out of this situation, we all gotta wear that mask. It is what it is. I also think things will never be the same because the local citizens of the places that we travel, to give you an example, I was in Hawaii a couple of times as an essential worker, as a flight attendant, and when we lay over, I would hear things that they were kind of happy that people were gone. They need our business for the tourism, but they feel that they're the reason why they're going back into quarantine is because we're not behaving wearing our masks and that we are uh, keeping them in quarantine, even though they're the local people. 
Also, like in Italy, where the canals are clear water now, you can see dolphins coming into the canal because there's just not as much traffic. Um, that beautiful city is sinking. The pollution is just out of control there. The big cruise ships come in and they dump all that stuff. Uh, just not cute. And so I think their locals are going to give us a second eye, which believes that I think that's how people are going to change their travel. I think people are going to stay away from the big cities and the big high yield destinations like major cities and try to do things like maybe the countryside, less tourist areas um, where you know people are more accepted because there's not big crowds or anything. For me, I'm going to start off slow. I think we all forget. We're always trying to get on the airplane and try to get abroad and go somewhere international. And we forget how beautiful America is. There's so many national parks that you can visit road trips, Route 66, our coast, it's just a, the Grand Canyon, just a beautiful country. And for me, I've been always been focused on trying to get out of the country. So I think in 2021, I'll be focusing more on staying in the States, slowly getting back into travel. Of course, getting all this on for you guys, I will get back to international, but I think I'm gonna be doing road trips. I've always wanted to catch the train across America. I always want to do, well, not camping, but I want to do glamping. <laughs> and I think that's what's gonna be amongst other people are gonna start off slow and work their way into back to international travel. So I think travel won't be back to normal until 2022 and whatever normal means, but I'm ready. I'm ready to get out. I'm eager. I'm excited about the vaccine. I'm quite not sure if I'll be the first taking it, but if it gets me to travel, hey, I was skeptical about the flu shot, but I take it now and knock on wood, I haven't had the flu since, so we will see. So I didn't want to make this video too long. I thank you guys for popping in and checking me out if you're going to travel or not, because I want to know. <laughs> but I definitely will travel in the next year, but I'll be more cautious. Thank you for watching again, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye, girl. Bye.